Uh, well, I'm not allowed to say that on video. I don't think I'll probably get a freaking cease and desist letter from the, uh, the NFL. So in late 2016, I started doing these types of videos, the marketing, the business strategy, tips and tactics, all that stuff in hopes to help you guys get further faster in your music career. Uh, but in 2017, early 2017, it started picking up a little momentum, right? In January, maybe it was early February uh, 2017, I received an email from a gentleman asking if I'd be willing to use his instrumentals as background music for these types of videos. Now, I usually don't do that because I myself am a producer, have a huge catalog of beats on my computer, but there's a certain type of sound that you want when it comes to uh, background music for videos like this, the, the talking head videos, as they call them, essentially. Um, and that's something that's not gonna be distracting. A lot of times it's just very uh, pattern-based, it's just uh, loop-based to where it's it's pleasant underneath the video, but it's not gonna be distracting to your, your listener. Uh, you don't want any like uh, air horns or crazy transitions in those types of video or uh, those types of instrumentals typically. So I said, you know what? Uh, and I also, side note, I also have memberships to a couple different royalty free websites where I can get that type of music for free and, you know, without any headache. So I said, you know, let me, let me listen to your catalog. At that point, I wasn't receiving as many emails as I get now and DMs and stuff. So it was easier to kind of cycle through that type of thing. So I asked him for his uh, link and he sent it over and he sent me to a SoundCloud page where, to be quite honest, I was pretty impressed with the production. It was actually perfect for vlogs and videos like this and explainer videos and tutorials and stuff like that. So I said, you know what, let's give it a try. Send me over a couple beats and I'll put them, I'll put one is as, or, you know, maybe cycle through them. Cause like I said, you don't really hear them in videos like this. So uh, you could probably hear the background music on this video, very quiet, very kind of uh, non-distracting. Is that a word? I don't know. It's early, but anyway, he sends me over these beats and he's, he actually sent me four or five and I picked two uh, that I kind of went in between. It wasn't a very long video that I used them in. And then the description box below, uh, I, I, added, I had his name, I had his social media uh, contact information, I had his website, as well as like his SoundCloud and stuff like that. So I'm like excited to be, you know, helping. I'm, I'm not gonna say helping, I'm not like uh, cocky or anything, but in a way, my channel had decent viewership and, and decent subscriber, a decent subscriber base at that point. So I figured, you know, this could be a win-win for both of us. So, oh, this is a ridiculous story. So. I put his music as the under uh, the underbed uh, of, of that video and I shout him out on social when I post the video and went live. Like I said, I think it was early February because it was right around the time of the Super Bowl. Uh, like, I'm not allowed to say that on video. I don't think I'll probably get a freaking cease and desist letter from the, uh, the NFL. But that's when the story kind of takes a twist. So this person was super, super friendly, very appreciative when I originally had posted the video, but then literally, Less than a week later, literally, like four or five days later, I get an email, I wake up to an email that this particular individual did a content ID strike, a content ID match on my video. Therefore, what that means is I used his content. Uh, and when you do a copyright strike or a content ID match, sometimes it's because you don't have, that person doesn't have rights or permission to use your music. I done that several times when it comes to the parody stuff. People reposting it, for instance, or uh, whatever. And, and I don't really bother with that too much anymore these days. But four or five days later, let's give them the benefit of the doubt. Let's say five days later, this guy does a copy or a content ID match on my video, which means that he's saying that I don't have, or a copyright strike and a content ID match, saying that I don't have permission to use his instrumentals in my videos. The same guy that has like 40 subscribers on his YouTube channel. So I hit him up on Instagram, actually I hit him up via email, but then I went directly to Instagram because I noticed, noticed he was posting. And I'm like, I don't know if you did this on purpose. Uh, maybe, you know, you had a service such as, I don't know, CD Baby. There's a, there's a bunch of different ones that will do the content IDs uh, match and, and help you get paid, which is typically a pretty good thing, but five days five days. He did a content ID strike on the video. I keep mixing them up. He did a copyright strike and a content ID uh, thing on my channel to where then all of the ad revenue of that video was going to him. Now, I had it all worked out, but I just honestly, I first I took the video and put it on unlisted so that it wasn't public to everybody. 
And then I ended up just deleting the video. And fun fact, I actually remade the video with the same content. Uh, uh, same content, I just changed out the background music. Actually, I think I just took out the background music. I never talked about this, never spoke about this publicly, but I think that, you know, just waking up, honestly, guys, it's early. Uh, I just figured that I would share a story like this because I know as producers, as creatives, we're gonna deal with these types of stories on a regular basis throughout our career. Now, regular, I'm not, I'm not hoping this or wishing this on anybody out there that has to deal with this. And I know it's just kind of one of those random, oh yeah, I just remembered that that happened type of videos. In fact, somebody on Instagram last night uh, asked me if I'd be willing to play their instrumentals as background music to this video or any video, not this video particularly, but I, it just, you ever forget about something and then years later, something reminds you of what, what happened, something reminds you of that story. And I'm like, you know what? I actually told this, this individual on Instagram, I, I explained the situation of why I, I, I'm like 99% uh, kind of against using other people's instrumentals in my videos now because I guess the one bad apple spoiled the bunch, it kind of ruined my experience. Now I'm not saying that I will never open up to uh, using your guys' content because you guys, when I say that you guys are incredibly talented and you make me look bad as far as uh, production side of things most of the time, I, I, I genuinely mean that because you guys are some creative mofos, it's too early to be swearing, but uh, and very talented. But it was just mind blowing. And kind of the point of the story is if you reach out to someone and you want to work with them, whether it be writing songs with them, whether it be co producing music with them, whether it be you just want to use their beats uh, and you want to rap on them, or maybe you're a producer and you're looking for someone to rap on your beats. When you're developing those relationships, you can't let greed get in the way, you can't let the ego get in the way like this individual did. And for all I know, this guy is now the uh, assistant manager at a Domino's Pizza because when you do shit like that in the industry, when you do stuff like that on YouTube or, or even in this independent producer and artist community of ours, you don't last very long. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't slander them or bash them or expose them on social media and I'm not gonna do it here as far as like their name. Like I said, they probably don't even make music anymore to be honest. Um, because they were just getting started and doing stuff like that. It's gonna kind of stagnate your growth pretty quick. I haven't sipped this at all. It's not even coffee, it's water. Side note, I don't really like coffee that much. If I do drink coffee, it's like super girly, light roast. Doesn't taste like coffee coffee. Side note, when I started doing YouTube and Instagram, I used to get a ton of free stuff to review. I stopped doing that, but shout out to Call of Duty. Uh, what is this, Advanced Warfare? I do have the game, but nobody plays it anymore. Anyway, guys, I wanna hear in the comments below if you've ever dealt with something like this, somebody that hits you up and is so eager to work and then disappears, or someone that wants to work with you and then when you start working with you, they kind of turn sideways. It doesn't even need to be with music. It could be for YouTube videos. It could be at your day job. It could be at school. It could be anywhere. I wanna know your story in just a few sentences down below if this has ever happened to you on some, uh, some wave uh, length. What am I talking about? on some level, because this is this, I have a ton of stories like this. So also in the comments below, if you wanna hear more stories about the kind of craziness that, that comes and goes, it, you know, over the past 12 years of me producing and writing and doing all this fun stuff and creating, uh, I have a whole list of stories. And in fact, if you guys wanna see more of these types of stories, I would be glad to cultivate them a little bit more and, and try to remember them and talk with friends about different things that we've gone through. And actually maybe bring on some guests because like my boy DJ DeVille, uh, one of my best friends, he's like a brother to me. Uh, we have some stories that, <laughs> oh buddy. Oh man, that could be a series. That could be a YouTube channel by itself. We actually had a podcast together for four, four episodes before he moved away. Anyway, man, I'm, it, the, the memories are coming back and it's so good to share these with you guys. So if you haven't yet, hit that little subscribe button to subscribe to my channel. And if you want to become a BFF, if you, if you, if you, if you, if you want to become part of the channel family here, click that little bell icon so that you'll be the first to be notified anytime I post a video such as this or a more useful tips and tactics video. So, Hope you enjoyed the video. Want to hear a comment from you in the comments below. All my contact information will be in the description box of this video, including what I use to shoot these videos, the lights and the cameras and the microphones and all that good stuff. Uh, I won't have the coffee cup on there, but that's okay. I'm sure you don't need that. But until next time, guys, you can find me at adamivy.com.